What's up guys, just sit down at Renegade again. And for this coil tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do the twisted coil. And if you get your twists down a little bit later on in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to take your two twisted strands and make a hive coil. All we're gonna need for this build is some pliers, your cutters, your drill, and some 26 gauge canthal. We won't be needing the swivel at all, all right, for this. Guys, build. Just like I stressed last time, your prep work is really important for your coil, this coil alike. So what you're going to want to do is get two evenly cut lengths of 26 gauge and you're going to want to straighten them out. If you don't know how to straighten out your wire, the way you're going to do it is put a tiny L in the end of your wire. You're going to put it in the chuck of your drill and grab the end point of your wire with your pliers. Once you've got your pliers, you're going to pull it to where it's nice and tight and then you're going to spin your drill. In about 5 to 10 seconds, it's going to straighten it out perfectly straight like what we have here. And you're going to want to do that for two strands. Right, so now that we've got our wire straightened out, what you're going to want to do is get both L's of your wires and go ahead and twist those together, kind of like we did with the Clapton coil. And what this is going to allow it to do is when you put it into your chuck, they're going to twist evenly so that we have a nice, tight, consistent twist all the way through our coil. So it's going to look something like that. Now we'll go ahead and put it in our chuck and then we'll get a close-up view and get started on this right, guys now that we have it in our chuck you're going to want to get your pliers come to the end of your wire and go ahead and clamp those down so now when you very first start out you're going to want a small slow rotation so that you can start to get the wires coming together and you're going to notice they're going to start to twirl and that's exactly what you want when you get comfortable with the speed you're at and you feel them start coming together you can go ahead and speed it up a little bit now slowly your twists are going to start to tighten together and that's exactly what you want is a nice tight twist all the way down to the length of the coil. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and finish out this coil real quick and then we'll get you guys started on wrapping right, guys, your coil. So as you can see we have a nice tight consistent twist all the way down the length of our coil. So now what you're going to want to do is come right in front of our starting point and go ahead and snip that off. And at the very end of your coil, just like with our Clapton, you're gonna have a little bit of overlap. And that's okay, that's what you want. Because with the same with the Clapton, is if you don't have a little bit of overwrap, when you begin to wrap your coil, it can actually start to untwist on you. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab our screwdriver and we'll go ahead and make our right, twist. Guys. So if you've never wrapped a coil before, we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. You're gonna to wanna to give yourself probably about a half inch up on the screwdriver. And then you're gonna go ahead and do a nice, consistent, close wrap around. And with this build, I found about five or six wraps to be a really nice sweet spot. You can do a little bit more or a little bit less depending on what you want your ohms to be at. But for me, six wraps is, is my personal favorite for this coil. And you're gonna go ahead, and these are called your legs. You're gonna go ahead to the end of your leg and cut it off. All right, and there is a twisted coil. Now, if you feel like you've got the grasp of this, now we'll go ahead and move on to our hive coil. Right, guys, now the way we're gonna do our hive is after you've made two strands of twisteds, we're gonna come up to the top, make our L's just like before, and we're gonna insert them into our chuck. Now the trick with a hive coil is whenever you were doing your original twisted, if you twisted them both with the drill going clockwise, when you do your hive, you're going to want to twist them together counterclockwise. If you twisted your coils counterclockwise, when you twist them this time, you're going to want to go clockwise. So I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can take a look at what right, that guys, looks like. Now what you're going to want to do is come to the end of your twisteds, just like you did when you were making a single. Go ahead and make sure to throw your drill in reverse of what you had it with when you originally made it. And we're going to slowly ease into it as we twist these twisteds together. Now we're going to do the same kind of idea as what we had before making our original twisted. Where you want a nice even twist throughout the duration of the coil. Guys, so now you have your hive wire. So we'll go ahead and get a close up on that so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Then we'll wrap it. Throw it on our RDA and see how it does. So after your hive coil is done, it should look something like this. A nice, tight, even consistency throughout the coil. 
right guys so now we'll go ahead and wrap it and make our hive coil this one as well i found about six wraps is that real nice sweet spot um, you can do a little bit more, a little bit less based on preference uh, of how you want your uh, ohms to be. But for me personally, I found six wraps is a pretty nice universal for pretty much all coils across the board. All right. Go ahead and get it cut. All right, guys. So there's our hive coil. Now let's go ahead and throw it on our RDA and see how it does. So I went ahead and put some twisteds on my uh, Limitless RDTA, and it's ohming out at 0.21 for the pair, which is a really nice area to be in. So let's go ahead and do the cloud test and see how it does. Very, very impressive clouds and flavor off that build. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the uh, hive coil on a RDA and we'll see how right, it guys, does. So I went ahead and threw a set of hive coils in my uh, Limitless RDTA and I'm ohming out right at 0.13, which is really low ohms. I recommend this only if you want huge clouds, but also only if you know what you're doing. Um, when you get down in really low ohms, if you don't know what you're doing, it can become dangerous. And we all love big clouds, but you want to stay safe. So we'll go ahead and give this a cloud test and see how it does. Here we go, guys. So it's got really great clouds and really amazing flavor as well, just like your original Twisteds. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you happen to have any coils you'd like to see made, uh, please leave a suggestion down in our comment box. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook at uh, Renegade Vapes Fort Polk and our Instagram page, Renegade Vapes. Happy Twisted Building, guys, and remember, stay vaping.